Hi, it's Josh from Under the Table Hot Sauce. I'm here with my friend, the star of the show, Jimmy Farrow. Yeah, what's up, JB? Nah, nothing. It's been a hot summer, and for all your barbecue needs, you can go to UndertheTableHotSauce.com. 13 unique flavors to choose from, created and bottled in a Long Island kitchen. UndertheTableHotSauce.com. Let's go chow, JB. Let's do it. All the flavor, twice the burn. Jimmy, I gotta take a dump. What? No, I mean I need a dumpster. <sighs> well, for all those needs, you need to call Big V Dumpster Rental, Long Island, New York, 631-900-DUMP. WWE Legends Hall of Famers, Money, Inc. in studio, Mr. Ted DiBiase, and I was corrected, but I don't want to do it, IRS. So for the fans that get out there, don't get all uptight with me. I'm sorry. I like Mike Rotundo. <laughs> it's Rotunda. Rotunda. Uh. It's both. And, it's and both. Then, he, then he threatened to kill me if I use what? Michael Wall Street, but I won't. Mike, oh, please. No. <laughs> Guys, no. I want to really seriously, I want to thank you for coming in, taking your time. I know you got a busy day today. What an honor, a huge thrill to have. Like, go ahead. We were mark just talking out. about. Mark I'm, out. I'm marking out a little go bit. Ahead. We were talking about Barry Windham, how what a huge fan I was of Barry. Absolutely. And what a huge fan I of you, Mike. And then, oh my God, it's Ted DiBiase. <laughs> oh, by the way, oh the guy God. that, you know, <laughs> drew more ratings than the Super Bowl. Yeah. On a Friday night. We'll get to that. Yes. We'll discuss that. Did you know that, Ted? You no, seem a little quizzical on that Ted's like, one. I did? No. <laughs> really? <laughs> you did. <laughs> We're going to find out. I know it now. <laughs> wow. And I'll use it. <laughs> That's right. As you should. And by the way, at the Wrestling Universe, who they'll be signing at, now the prices have just gone up to $80 <laughs> for an autograph, just so everybody's aware. <laughs> everybody's got a price. Oy. Uh, WrestleMania right around the corner. Yeah. Uh, one week away. Hulk Hogan, Titus O'Neil will be hosting WrestleMania. Many fans angry over the fact that Hogan oh, yeah. is even involved in this. Not us. Oh, We're huge fans. God. In fact, Hall of Famer Mark Henry makes it clear that Hogan still hasn't apologized for his comments from how many years ago? Uh, we're talking 10 almost at this point. You guys want to weigh in on the cancel culture that's going on with this country right now? Uh, I think it's sick. You know, um, it's just like, to me, it's ridiculous. It is. It's, you know, get over it. Grow up. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much from the old school of things, too, as, as far as uh, I think knowing your history can make you great. Um, you learn from history, and history repeats itself. So... The idea is not to repeat the bad, but keep the good. And everybody has an opinion, I get that, but sometimes it's gotten to the point where it's just totally ridiculous for what reason. I mean, every society in the world has had been oppressed one way or the other at some time throughout history, and you overcome it and try not to let it ever happen again and you're exactly right mike and, and history does repeat itself again if as long as you it, it'll repeat itself as long as you don't if you don't learn from the mistakes that are made right. and, and i and i think that there needs to be some things around you know that we can look at and go you know what i'm going to make sure that never happens again uh but to just you know, just to trample everything out. You know, you can't do this, you can't do that. Get rid of that statue and all that stuff because of that. No, it's all a part of our history. And again, it's it's a reminder of what we shouldn't go back to. Are we becoming too soft as a society? Wow. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. start it. I'll say yes. Well, I feel we are. Yeah, I think yeah. so too, you know. Yeah. And how can we learn from our mistakes if we're so busy erasing our past, we'll have nothing back to look upon, right? to You're learn good. from. I agree. I'm confused by it. Look, I'm a big animal advocate, right? Speciesism, right? Racism, speciesism, anti-Semitism, right? To me, they all fall into the same bucket. And look, I'm a huge fan of Hulk Hogan. Um, I always thought he was a... a you know, he changed people's lives. That's what we're here on this planet, right? To change people people's lives. And, you know, 
my whole point is how do we give someone like Hulk Hogan such a hard time but with all due respect Michael Vick who tortured animals and killed hundreds and hundreds of animals is being held up to this higher level and you don't see this it seems like such an imbalance that's going on here or is it just the fact that this country likes to knock people down so they can just build them up and knock them down again yeah I mean if you're in the public eye you're in that situation one way or the other you know and you it's almost like the point where you're going to make some people happy but you're definitely going to make a uh, offend a lot of other people so you're kind of riding this teeter-totter and don't know which direction to go or you know step over this bounds or you, you hide behind this building or step out you know front and center stage it's it's hard to do this day and age because everybody's got an opinion everybody's got a cell phone and there's no escape so you really have to be careful what you say where you say it when you say it and that's sad because you know life should be at some time spontaneous and you don't get the right to be able to do that like you would have 30 years ago or 20 years ago or 10 years ago for that matter you know why can't people differ an opinion and get along and discuss that I don't opinion know. it's i mean it doesn't have to be an angry battle it's right. like this is what i believe in this is what you believe in let's discuss because it like there's two no humans. respect you right. know that's right. the word there it is bingo right no respect. The respect has gone. And Ted, it's got to be hard with you, you know, preaching the word to be able to keep that balance too, right? It's like you, well, you got to be hard, right? Well, again, yeah, you know, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Mm. That's beautiful. I love you it. Know, and so, That's you beautiful. know, and I, I am un unashamedly a Christian and a believer in Jesus Christ, and and that's what I preach, you know. And of course, they're, uh, you know, it's it, it's sad, but you know, in our country today, you know, that's being attacked. Do you think there's any connection going back to 9-11 with the downfall it seems to be towards religion in this country? Because I hate to link the two, but I feel like on 9-11 a, a lot of things happened to our collective soul as a nation. And I feel like we've, we've turned our back very much so on religion without even saying it or declaring it publicly. It seems to be the unsaid thing as part of the overall attack on the traditional values of this country. Any thoughts on that? I know it's kind of deep, but... Mm. I wonder about that. <clears throat> well, you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I would say 9/11 was the the kickoff point, but I mean, uh, I, I I agree with you. I mean, it's, I mean, but biblically speaking, uh, you know, uh, if you believe the Bible, uh, the first time God destroyed the world it was because mankind became totally corrupt. Uh, immoral mm -hmm. and the whole the whole ball of wax to the point where he said I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of it and start over right. and he did promise that and he just said he also says that it's gonna happen again in other words the world not just the United States but the world is going to get to a place of immorality and depravity again and the next time he destroys it's gonna be by fire not by by uh, what? blood what? so and again I believe the Bible so I mean it's um, it's what's going to happen, and you know, uh, um, I've, I've seen a lot of things in our country that I, you know, didn't think I'd ever see. Right. But and again, but I, you know, again, the, 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 I, I think the freedom of speech, uh, in in some cases, and by some, are is trying to be impeded. You know, like oh, you can't think that, or you can't say that. No, well, you know, I'm going to stand for what I believe in. Good for you. Amen. Amen. Do, can we recover as a country? Or are we running out of time? Well, I think I think we can, you know, if we will. Uh, uh, but yeah, but the talk the, the clock's ticking. Yep, feels like it. All right, on a much lighter note, although it's not very. Did light. you think that? Hey, we're going in this wrestling <laughs> interview, and now we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I thought it. I, this is about the end of the foul. Hey guys, yeah, I thought it absolutely, and I'm glad it happened. So.